Hello everybody, this is Tim from Boatshire Drop Brokers on board this Bavaria 38 Cruiser for a look around her cockpit and interior in detail to give you an idea of where things are, what's fitted and if she might be a space that you'd like to occupy in the future. So as you can see, we're sit sitting in the cockpit looking aft towards the helm and uh, we can, the first thing we may notice is that we've got a lovely great big cockpit down here. Very high, covers the whole cockpit so that gives us lots of shelter and protection from not only the rain but the sun as well. So we can sit in here in, in a storm, nice and cosy or if it's a really hot day like today we can un up, roll up the port side roll up the after section there roll up the, the starboard side there get the wind and the ventilation through our hair etc etc and cool ourselves down and when we want it all nice and quiet and uh, kept calm for us then we just roll them all back down again the uh, the after one if we just take a little bit of a closer look we can see it rolls up all the way from the bottom to the top that's because this is a companion way so if you wanted to alight the boat or step off from the boat from here or through here from the swim platform in a very nice and uh, casual and sophisticated way we can do that so very nice and easy to do we just step through the companion way here uh, it, fitted in here we have got uh, we've got the uh, gas locker here if i just change hands with the camera uh, this looks like the emergency steering position and we've also got the bilge pump here as well all nice and handy for the helm and uh, i suspect there's probably a helm seat that will fit across here as well uh, to be determined because i haven't seen it yet but uh, that's where it's should be all looking very very nice now the cockpit itself we have lots of cockpit cushions all looking nice condition nice and comfortable we uh, we feel like we're going to be safe in this boat at sea because we've got nice high combings here as well nicely radiused as well for comfort so if you're leaning back on those they should feel good and also we haven't got uh, 90 degree hard corners to clonk our knees against you'll notice that we've got uh, we've got spinnaker winches here we've got the uh, the sheet winches here these are braked and we also have the uh, halyard winches on the uh, coach roof here along with the brakes for the uh, for the lines going forward so lines led aft so most things can be done from this cockpit with ease and uh, if it's a rainy day or if you're beating into the wind etc you're behind this lovely spray hood here or underneath the spray hood fine view forward through these windows lots of protection because it does come quite a long way after almost to the sheet winches there so really rather a lovely place to be to starboard here you can see underneath we've got a, a lovely great big uh, locker i can't open it one-handed but it is a, a big locker in there you can see we've got nice teak seating and we've got a nice teak cockpit sole here as well and if you look on the underneath the port cushion again you can see we've got to repeat as well so a nice big locker under there as well and we have a window down there for the port aft cabin window down there for the starboard aft cabin and in the center here we've got a, a fixed cockpit uh, table with uh, two leaves that fold up to give us a much bigger cockpit table if we need and if we want to we can just fold those away whilst we're at sea now moving around to the helming area nice and easy we've got a great big wheel here so that's uh, really lovely we can sit here to port uh, sorry to starboard and steer looking over the starboard side or we can sit over to the port side hanging onto the to, to the port side of the wheel or we can stand midships give us a great view forward so that's good for sailing let's look at what we've got here so we've got uh, we've got the engine stop we've got the fuel fuel tank contents indicator we've got the engine warning uh sorry the water warning temperature here down here we've got the engine start stop we've got the warnings we've got the, the taco and the engine hours counter if we just look under, underneath here you can see we've got the compass under its cover under this one we've got the wind speed and direction indicator and the boat depth and speed trip etc etc and the lovely flat bng unit is just stored elsewhere for safekeeping but i can assure you it's included in the sale and it's a very nice unit so you can see really really lovely cockpit plenty of room lots of uh, comfort etc uh, but i think would feel nice and safe in a in a seaway now let's go and take a look at the companion way which is very important because that's a bit that gets us down below uh, when we're closed we've got this nice strong piece of plexiglass We've also got this section here which we can lift away but i just left that in place just to show you how it is that will stop the blue water getting down below if we're taking it over the barrels or into the cockpit but uh, otherwise nice depth here nice width here so nice and easy to get down we've got handles port and starboard before we go down we've got handles port and starboard as we go down so let's go down and have a little look shall we and what i'll do is i'll just sit on the top step and let you have a quick look around the compartment before i go down and uh, before i do go down there are more handles here port and 
on starboard to grab hold of. But you can see we've got a, a nice light bright interior. We've got quite dark wood upholstery. We've got lighter carpet that's all shaped and uh, whipped, which is lovely. And we've got a, a, a whiter, a, a lighter headlining with windows and hatches in as well. So down below here, down here, it just seems like a very nice neutral area with uh, plenty of light. Very good. As I'm down here, I've just turned around to have a look at the companionway. There, there you go. So one, two, three, four, five steps down to the bottom. Now, if I just uh, change hands and I can just open this with one hand. There we go. Nice and easy. There's the engine all ready to be uh, checked over hourly or uh, serviced by the engineer. There's your beta unit. Plenty of good access there. Real easy to check the oil level, the water level. Uh, you can see we've got the impeller covering here. Um, and there's a good bit of space around this engine, actually. And uh, what we'll see as we go around the cabins... Uh, there's access from the starboard uh, aft cabin here, access from the port aft cabin as well. So um, your engineer will thank you. And I know that because I am one. I was one for 25 years in the Royal Navy. More than fool me, but I did enjoy myself, I promise. Anyway, that's the engine compartment. Let's take a little look inside the starboard aft cabin. We, uh, this boat still has got lots of gear on board. All good stuff, though, because it's cleaning gear. So that's what I like to see. So the boat does feel uh, nice and clean. Now, as we go into the starboard aft cabin, you can see we've got a nice big lobby here, cluttered by Henry the Hoover, but we can soon move him. We've got a nice seat here. We've got a, a locker outboard or a wardrobe outboard. And you can see if I just duck down, we've got a nice wide, very long bed. And this is actually a very good height from bed to deck head there. That's underneath the moulding of the seats up. Sorry, the moulding of the cockpit locker upstairs. We have a long shelf all the way along the starboard side. We've got a fiddled uh, shelf here. We've got an opening window here, an opening window here, both with curtains, etc., and a hatch above us. So we're not short of ventilation down here at all. And if you can just see here behind the cleaning gear, here's the access to the uh, to the starboard side of the engine, which I really like. Underneath here, we've got the fuel tank. Uh, we've got the, the gas isolator there, but otherwise all pretty much does what it says on the tin. And it looks like we have some extra accesses down there too. Nice cabin, plenty of room. And uh, yeah, I don't think you'd feel claustrophobic in here at all. But let's take a look forward. Uh, nice and easy to get out of the cabin too, which is always good. Here's the uh, navigation station, often given over to being a, a, a cockpit uh, table these days as people move towards their uh, iPads, etc. But uh, if you want it, we've got a nice big navigation station here. Looks full size to me. Nice and uh, look, not that deep, but there's room in there for charts your dividers, all those bits and pieces, uh, bits of chewing gum, fluff, all that kind of thing, paper clips. Good seats here. We've got storage outboard. We've got storage above as well. We've got the electrics panel, the stereo. We've got a VHF. We've got an older chart plotter there, which I suspect is just used as backup these days. There's a b g plotter. Let's just have a quick look at that. There we go. Nice flat screen, ready to go upstairs. And there's your uh, radar um, head unit there, ready to uh, tell you exactly where you are. We have uh, three opening windows down here, which is very good, all letting light in, and three hatches down here as well, so uh, a really well-ventilated area. And uh, generally, we sort of seem to have stowage absolutely everywhere. Where they can put stowage, they put it in, and in this case, we've stuck it underneath the chart table. So, nice area, good comms between the chart table and the uh, helm, so we're uh, all really rather good. Now, lo looking forward again, Imagine we're coming down from the cockpit. So we've got the handle here, handle here, handle here. We can then move from fiddles to shelves. We've got handles running all the way down the port and the starboard side of the saloon, including this area above the nav station. So always something to grab hold of, which is good until we get to the forward cabin like. Now, if we're moving forwards along the starboard side, you will see we'll come to the lovely saloon area. Lots and lots of seating here, lots of storage beneath here. We've got batteries under here. We've got the big saloon table, nice uh, little bench seat here and storage behind as well. Uh, we've got a nice Nice big speakers there, very nice. We've got a little drinks cabinet going on in the corner. And uh, you can see here we've got a, a good long section of... Uh of lockers here, which in Bavaria, true Bavaria style, carry on all the way past the nav station, which is uh, really nice and just gives you that continuity. There's the headlining. So we've got uh, cushioned vinyl by the feeling of it, but it all looks uh, in place, etc. We've got the hatches I mentioned as well. So lots of down lighters and uh, feeling like a nice area. Big flat screen on the forward uh, bulkhead there, clock and barometer, etc. And uh, pretty much everything you'd need. Looking down, you can see we've got uh, the fiddle carpets that I mentioned. Sorry, fiddle, I mean, whipped carpets that I mentioned before, all very good. And uh, we'll just move along 
to give you an idea how things look as we move forwards. Uh, I do like it when they put in little uh, secret wine cupboards there, keeping away from the kids. Very nice indeed. Let's have a look in the forward cabin. So nice wide door, uh, reasonably high as well to get into there, which is lovely. It looks a bit dark in there just because the uh, the hatch is, uh, uh, I nearly said obliterated, obscured by the dinghy that's lying on the deck above. So you can see the bed is made. If I just come through, that may darken it slightly, but I'll come in. The bed is made with the, uh, the head end towards us. So um, it, it looks like we can clamber in. It's almost like a reverse island bed in a way, but uh, you should be able to clamber into the sides there without clambering over your partner's heads. But as we get in here, the uh, the cupboards continue along the starboard bulkhead and along the port bulkhead there. We've got a nice big locker on the starboard side there, a seating unit there, storage underneath the bed down there, and uh, really rather a large lobby where I'm sure two or three people could, could get changed as, at once if they wanted to. And then finishing off, we've got the uh, big locker on the, uh, on the port side. Very nice... Uh, very nice cabin, uh, well over, uh, I'd say, probably about six feet headroom at the after end of the cabin, going down as you go forwards due to the rake of the coach roof. But let's step out of the cabin. I'll just close the door and point us towards the galley. So there we go. We've got a, a nice linear galley along the port side. Twin sinks to port. You can see a bit of the uh, a bit of the chain plates coming through there. We've got the continu continuation of the cupboards along the port side, and we've got fiddle shelves. We've got drawers. We've got cupboards underneath. We've got a nice cooker with uh, uh, an oven and two rings as well. Lots of work surface above, and uh, the microwave's not staying. But uh, generally speaking, if you just look around here, you can see what a nice area this is. Very nice indeed. Feels Bavaria, feels classy. More work surface here, and uh, we've got the fridge fitted underneath here. I think this may be a lid that's uh, sh hiding a bit of work surface or a hole there where a fridge may have been previously. To be confirmed, I will check that out. But moving back, we'll uh, come to this section here. So this is the heads compartment, the only one on the boat. And uh, it's, a, it's a nice sized area now you can see we've got nice radius corners so it's going to be nice and easy to keep clean we've got uh, access to the bilge here and a few bits and pieces uh, skin fittings etc access to the holding tank there and a nice shower unit so we can have a proper shower on this boat and it should all disappear somewhere down there and uh, off into the holding tank etc um, if we're just having a wash then we've got uh, a nice sink unit there again this has got a shower head on it too we've got storage underneath and uh, storage to the after section of the uh, of this compartment too, and the heads compartment facing kind of from port after starboard forward. So that's the general direction that's going in. And really nice and easy to clean. You could just chuck a bucket around in here, not a problem at all. And finished off with the opening window, which is great for letting that uh, condensation out. Very good. Okay then, let's finish off this tour by going into the port aft cabin. Pretty much a mirror of starboard aft. Nice and light. We've got uh, three, two windows in here to open, that open, and one hatch as well. Here's the uh, the moulding for the cockpit seating and the uh, and the the cockpit locker, etc. But uh, beneath that, we have a nice seat here. We've got a locker outboard, fiddle shelf above, shelf that goes all the way along this uh, shelf up here too, and uh, nice wide and long berth and not to forget the access to the port side of the engine through this uh, section here which is uh, nice and easy to get at once we're away at sea and everything's secured nicely for sea so that's the inside of the cockpit of this uh, very nice bavaria 38 cruiser if you'd like any more information just go to boatshedbrighton.com where you'll find lots more pictures videos virtual reality thanks for watching